guys, so as you might be able to tell, I am in my new room setup and I absolutely love it. First off, just to apologise for the lighting, I haven't um, set up the lighting that's going to go in front of me yet. Um, so it might be a little bit grainy because I've had to change the settings on the camera to kind of brighten it up. But I'm not going to be filming here all the time, but I just love the backdrop so much. Um, and I'm really excited now to be able to film at my parents' house as well. So if you guys haven't seen um, my like new room tour yet, which I uploaded just before this video then, um, I'll put a link here for you guys to go and check it out. Anyway, today um, I am going to do a little bit of a haul from Amazon. Now, I've never done a haul video, like a proper haul video, um, on this channel. I've done like a few things, oh, I bought this in vlogs. Um, but basically, I thought, because I've bought quite a lot of stuff that you guys might want to see, um, but it's not necessarily beauty and fashion related, I thought I would put it on this channel. So basically, I bought a load of books. Um, if you guys didn't watch my LA vlogging, uh, you might not know that I left my Kindle on the plane. How annoying is that? And I literally am kicking myself still. However, I've kind of rediscovered reading real books, and I really am kind of starting to enjoy reading real books again. But whenever I travel, I'm like, oh, it's so annoying because I don't ever want to take my book because it's a big, fat, heavy book, um, and it takes up like half my handbag. So um, I do miss kind of taking a book with me on the train and things like that because I haven't been doing that. But anyway, I bought a whole load of new books, and most of these were actually pretty much all of these pretty much were suggestions um, from you guys when I did my favourite books video. So thank you for the suggestions and I will get on to show you what I bought. The first thing was probably one of the most um, highly recommended ones and it's The Maze Runner. This is, um, it actually says on the top, a must for fans of The Hunger Games. This is like really widely compared to The Hunger Games and I can see why in the story. I'll read the back to you. It says, when the doors lift, when the doors of the lift crank open, the only thing Thomas can remember is his first name, but he's not alone. He's surrounded by boys who welcome him to the Glade, an encampment at the centre of a bizarre and terrible maze. Like Thomas, the Gladers don't know why or how they came to be there, or what's happened to the world outside. All they know is that every morning when the walls slide back, they will risk everything to find out. So I think this sounds really, really exciting. Most of the books that I got are actually kind of based on a futuristic dystopian kind of society. Um, I think partly because in my favourite book video I was talking about how much I love The Hunger Games and um, what else did I say I love during that? I can't even remember. Um, but anyway, I think it's because of that, but I'm loving the sound of that. The second one I picked up is Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. And this is actually kind of interesting. I haven't, I'd heard a lot about The Maze Runner before, but I haven't heard so much about this. Um, and on the back it says, Callum is a naught, a second class citizen in a world run by the ruling crosses. Sefi is a cross, daughter of one of the most powerful men in the country. In their world, noughts and crosses simply don't mix. And as hostility turns to violence, can Callum and Sefi possibly find a way to be together? They are determined to try, and then the bomb explodes. So that sounds exciting, and I can't wait to read that. And then the next one I got was the first book in the Game of Thrones um, line. It's actually, I think it's called A Song of Fire and Ice. I don't know whether, yeah, book one of A Song of Fire and Ice is the Game of Thrones. Um, this is basically recommended to me um, by lots and lots of people. And when I was in LA visiting my friend Ingrid, she said how much she loved the TV show. And I haven't seen any of the TV show. Um, but I know she loved the book as well, so I thought I'd prefer to read the book first before I watch the TV show. So I got that. It's actually kind of a hefty book, so I don't know when, and I'm, I think I'm less excited to read this than the other one, so I don't know when I'm going to get round to reading that. Um, it might even be, like, in the summer, or my summer holidays, but, um, I'm glad to have that. And then, finally, I also got Divergent, um, which was really highly recommended to me, and I actually saw it in... Um, a video that Elle, All the Glitters 21 did, and um, it sounded really cool, very similar to Hunger Games kind of thing. Um, and the book is like amazing, look at this, it's like a holographic book cover. I love that, I think it's amazing. Um, so that's the last new book that I got. I also picked up another copy of Jodie Picoult, 19 Minutes, because this is, I listed this as one of my favourite books. Um, in my book video, but then I realised I don't actually remember who I lent it to because I lent it to somebody a long time ago and I really want to reread it, so I bought a new one of these. And these were all really good prices. I don't know if you guys order books from Amazon a lot, but they were all like between three, most of them were three and four pounds. I think one was six. I can't remember which one was six, but um, they were all a lot cheaper than they would be if you buy them in the shops. 
yeah, so that's what I got book-wise. I also got um, a few bits of technology. Technology. I got a new tripod. Woo, how exciting is this? Um, I know this isn't massively exciting, but I know a lot of people who watch my videos actually make their own videos, so um, I thought you might find it interesting to know about like my new equipment that I bought. So this tripod, the tripod that my camera is standing on right now, where you guys are sitting, right there, um, is actually like a death trap for my camera. It's an amazing tripod. It's called the Sunpack Travel Smart, um, and it was so so good because it folds up to a teeny tiny thing, like literally um, half the size of this, and it goes really high, like as tall as me, and it has been great. It's really light and everything, but the um, a lot of the features, like how you move it and stuff, the actual pin has just come out and won't go back in. So every now and again, um, the camera will just go bosh and like fall on its front. And that has just, it's got to be bad for the lens. So I thought it's about time I picked up a new tripod. This one was actually so cheap. It was, I think it was £13, which seems amazing because I was unsure of what the quality was going to be like, but because I personally, like, my tripod stays in a similar place the whole time, I'm not kind of taking it outside, it doesn't need to be heavy duty, it just needs to be, like, a stand for my camera, it doesn't, you know, have to do anything special. So, I was kind of apprehensive about the quality of this one, but, like, at first glance, I obviously haven't used it yet, but it seems pretty sturdy for £13, I thought it was such a good buy, um, and it has the kind of thing here, and you can wind it up and down, and do whatever, like this. <laughs> which my last tripod didn't have, so um, I thought that was a really good buy. I'll put links to everything um, in the information bar below if you want to know exactly which ones I bought, but I got a new tripod and I'm very excited about that. And next, I got a couple of other kind of techie things. I got a new USB flash drive. Um, this is basically because whenever I do any videos for anyone else, like I don't know if you guys know, but I make videos for the Carmine website, things like that, if I ever have to send them the video, um, because the internet isn't that fast where I live, it's sometimes easier just to pop it on a USB stick and send it overnight um, instead of uploading it, because it saves them uploading, downloading, whatever, um, and therefore I end up like losing a lot of these because I'm sending them to people, but um, this was actually a really good price, I think it was £8, and I was going to buy a few of them, because um, they're a lot more expensive in the shops. I was going to buy a few of them, but I wanted to see like how good a quality this one was before. Um, so yeah, I thought that was quite a good deal. And then I also got this little case for my SD cards, um, which I obviously use to take pictures and films and stuff. And it actually fits eight. Um, I only have three at the moment, but um, it's definitely something that I will use because I don't know if you guys know, but when you buy an SD card, they come with the like little plasticky cases, and I always seem to lose them. And I just thought it would be easier to have a case where I can keep all my SD cards in at the same time when I travel, and they're not going to get like bashed around. Because a lot of the time, I'll leave one in the side of my laptop because I don't have a case for it, but then it kind of sticks out the edge, so it's a little bit dodgy, I think. Um, so I got that, and I think this was about four or five pounds, and it's really nice quality actually. It's aluminium and. Um, feels really sturdy, so that's good. And then finally, you guys are gonna laugh, but you know I'm on that health and fitness kick? Well, finally I bought a DVD, and it's Jillian Michaels' Banish Fat Boost Metabolism Six Minute Fixes. Basically, um, I'm gonna update you guys in a kind of health and fitness video, which I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna record it after this video, but it'll probably be uploaded like a couple of days from when this video goes up. Um, but, I've been really enjoying my Zumba um, DVD, it's actually a game, it's on the Wii, um, I've been really enjoying that, I really like it, but I think if you do things too often, you kind of get bored of them, so I was looking for something new to try out, and I get bored, like, doing a whole workout DVD that was like an hour long would bore me to tears, and I would basically just fail and stop doing it, so I thought this sounds kind of good, because it sounds like it might be like little bits of workout kind of blasts, rather than um, like a whole hour and I get bored and never watch it again, but this was really cheap as well I think it was like reduced to five pounds or something and I thought I might as well try it because I've heard really good things about her DVDs I know her 30 day shred DVD was like 
um, either like number one or number two or something and I was tempted to try that and I thought I'll try this one first and then I'll see how it goes. So that is the last thing in my Amazon haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you like seeing this kind of video because I've never really done one before. Um, yeah, so I'd love to know what you guys think and let me know if you like my new background. I'm like so in love with it. If I'm looking in the monitor all the time, I'm like looking at the pretty lights and being like, oh, I'm so happy. It's like a girly room. Like I haven't had a girly room in so long and I love it. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys are all having a fab day and I will see you very soon. Bye!